Hello, here's a short video to demonstrate population momentum. We start with a population pyramid with a broad base. That means the population has been growing. There's lots of kids relative to parents. Now, we go forward a generation, and everybody in this generation has decided they're just going to replace themselves. So, one generation forward, the population looks like this. These folks have moved up. Here's their kids, same number. They've just replaced themselves. We move forward another generation. The sides of the pyramid are getting straight and vertical. These kids have moved up. They're only going to replace themselves. We go to generation four. Now we're at zero growth. The pyramid isn't a pyramid anymore. It's a rectangle. Here's the old, original pyramid from four generations ago. All of this space is the growth for the three generations since everybody has agreed to only replace themselves, TRF2. And that's due to population momentum. So population momentum is a tendency of a population to continue to grow for several generations even though everyone is only replacing themselves. What that means is that um, population takes a long time to absorb changes in decisions about family size. So population momentum, the tendency for a population to continue to grow even though everybody's just replacing themselves if, as we have here, the population had been growing and has a broad base. I hope this helps you understand population momentum and why it's important to begin to think about population now rather than in 2040 or 2050 when the population is 8 billion or 9 billion. Thanks. Bye-bye.